Okay, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Monty Literature, which is where uh, we try to share resources about SPM English Literature for those of you who are taking the paper or people who might be interested in taking the paper. Um, so today we have something special. So I know that some of you might be wondering about this subject. Uh, maybe you don't actually know anyone who's actually taken the subject uh, and you're considering it. So I thought that today uh, it'd be great to ask a few questions to a student who has actually done this paper recently. We have one of my former students here with us today uh, and we'll get a chance to ask her some questions about why she took this subject and what the whole process was like and uh, maybe any advice she would give to anyone who wants to take this subject. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, to start with, maybe could you just introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, my name is Ajana and I'm from KL. I studied around in KL as well. Uh, one of my favorite books recently that I've come back, I've, I've been reading a lot of books. I've come back to The Clay Marble again. Surprisingly, it's really fine. I've, I've, and I've decided to look at the clay marble at another perspective and not focusing on uh, Dara or Janto or Sarun. I've been really focusing on uh, Nia. Oh. I've, um, mm -hmm. Surprising, right? Yeah, so for people who don't know, the clay marble is one of our SPM English literature texts. So yeah, I'm really curious why, um, what brought you back to the novel? Mm. So... I've I've read this book. It's about uh about Asian culture in in back before, you know we had this social media and thing, mm -hmm. and it reminded me of how the war in in Vietnam, and Thailand and Cambodia and stuff like that. Uh, I've read it again, and it's really fun to to focus on how Nia expands she she doesn't really expands much i mean like she doesn't really grow that much in this in this novel but it's fine to see it's it's exciting to see how she's really subtle with um everything that's going on with uh sarun shifting from um being a really protective brother of his family to a person that's really not not really as a family person mm. uh, yeah, so her love interest, right, who who yeah. suddenly wants to become a soldier during the civil war in Vietnam, uh, which is just really heartbreaking. And that kind of takes us to the heart of what what SPM English Lit is all about. So um, maybe could you share with us what made you think of taking this subject in the first place? Uh I I was really I was really stunned by how Jane Austen writes her book. But then I was uh, talking to my English teacher in, in, my, in my school about, about Jane Austen's writing. And she says, um, do you know that English literature, I, I didn't know that English literature, literature was a subject. Hmm. You know, it, it used to be together with English. Yeah. Like it was a package, but hmm. now it, it, it's not. Hmm. And then my teacher told me that uh, we have a subject specifically for English literature and it's really uh, she says that it would be really exciting for me to learn that subject mm. and she yeah. says that she has a, a person who can you know teach English literature and she gives she gave me your details mm. yeah that's yeah. how it all started right I mean SPM English literature is quite an old subject it has been around for <laughs> a long time but like you said in the past the English paper also had a small literature component inside it, but unfortunately, that's no longer the case at the moment. But English literature as a subject still stands on its own. Uh, so yeah, could you share with us a little bit from your perspective as a student? Like, what was it like to study this subject? You know, like, what did you learn and how did you find the whole process? Personally, it was really fun because I had, uh, I had, an amazing teacher uh -huh. that you know uh, really supporting me from the back and teaching me one by one and everything that I need to know for English lit. What did you enjoy about it? The fact the fact the fact that I had so much to grow. You know, mm. from from a student who really loved just English grammar and essays mm. to a person that 
that can now analyze analyze more about text. Yeah. Yeah, and find yeah. and find a really deep connection and meaning to the text that I'm reading or studying mm. or whatever. Which mm-hmm. text That's do you really- think which text do you think you connected with the most? There's this one text that you know there's this photocopy that you gave me about William Blake, this one. Oh yeah. That one, uh that has been connecting with me since the day you gave me until now. Interesting. What what did you um what what was it about William Blake that connected with you? Um the fact that William Blake was brave enough to to express his emotions, his his opinion about what was going on in mm-hmm. like the reality of London back then. Mm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Oh yeah, we studied three poems by William Blake, right? Tiger, London, and uh the little yes. black boy, which is uh really interesting. I think William Blake is is quite challenging in the sense that the English use is a bit uh older. It takes a while to mm-hmm. like wrap your head around it, but it's uh it's nice to get that sort of uh, time machine back into the past and to um hear the words of a poet who really cares about what's going on in the society around him and how he immortalized that in his writing for us. How what about um let's say the drama Flowers for Algernon? What do you think was the most memorable? Oh, the uh one of one of the things that I've learned from Flowers for Algernon is being um soft and and kind and subtle to everyone no matter what day what mood you are in or or just you know dealing with people you know you, you really have to be subtle because you don't know what they are going through mm. it's yeah it's life changing why did you feel that from reading from studying the text you know, in this text, there's this one guy who has intellectual disability. Intellectual disability yeah. Uh, and he has gone through so much and people are always so harsh and making fun of him all the time. Mm. It feels yeah. really bad for him and for me as well. Yeah. I remember that uh-huh. when we were discussing this play, you were always very empathetic towards him always feeling yeah. like you know it's so unfair you know just because he has a disability we, we shouldn't treat him in that way so yeah I think that that was really uh, interesting so okay I want to ask you about the process the actual process of signing up for this mm-hmm. paper so just now you mentioned your English teacher and I think you've told me that you are the only person who signed up for English lit in your school so what was the process like in terms of like registering for the paper it wasn't really hard because you just have to make like in if for a government school you just have to write a letter that say uh, stating that you're uh, that you want to take up this subject for SPM mm-hmm. and uh, just state where you're studying like the subject is it, is it in the school or outside i think that's that's all yeah it wasn't it wasn't hard so the letter is uh was to whom? Oh oh the the principal. Oh okay. Yeah. And then after that, um, was there anything else that you had to do? No, I don't think so because you the you usually the principal will just like give in to whoever wants to take up any subject, and okay. yeah, then the next day she said yes, and yeah, that's it. Okay. That's good. Uh, so, uh, how was it like for you this as past SPM season? I know SPM twenty twenty one was a really uh challenging time for everyone. Mm-hmm. You know, in your cohort, uh, what was it like for you preparing for this? I don't. I I feel person personally. I think this is the first batch to start as a KSSM batch. Yeah. I think yeah. For other subjects, it's really hard. You know, you really have to work hard for uh, all the trial tests and all the real exam tests. But personally, for English lit, it wasn't it wasn't that much mm. because mm. because um because you know it's it's always been with me for the past year. So 
it wasn't hard. You know, you you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I guess mm-hmm. because we were just uh meeting up once a week and it's outside of your school time, and yeah, it was just the two so of it, us, right? Yeah, so in that sense, it was quite flexible and quite relaxed. So I guess for anyone out there who um, is the only person taking it in their school, then you would want to seek out a tutor uh, who was mm-hmm. able to guide you through. And in that sense, it's quite flexible, which is one of the one of the advantages as well. Um, what was it actually like on the exam day itself when you were the only one sitting for this paper? It's uh first first of all all I thought was you know um people there's a lot of uh people watching me at the exam and I'm the only person like in in the hall I'm the only person and there's so many people watching me. Yeah. It was it was really scary but then when when I sat down for the exam it felt it felt like it felt like I was with you. Because throughout our lessons, it's just the two of us. Mm. Yeah, so if I'm quiet, then you're quiet. So it, it felt comfortable, I think. Mm. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Do you think that um, English Lit is a difficult subject? Mm, no, I think it's a really good subject for you to grow as a pers- person and for you to explore uh, a lot more vocabulary and a lot more um, deep meaning with text. Yeah, definitely. I uh, can definitely relate to that. I think when I was in high school, I enjoyed reading a lot of fantasy fiction, but studying English literature made me, it sort of opened my eyes to all kinds of different worlds and different perspectives and cultures, which I thought was really mm-hmm. interesting. Um, so yeah, just to round up uh, our interview today, uh, do you have any advice for anyone who is thinking of taking English Lit SPM? Personally, for a person who who doesn't really know about English Lit, I would definitely say yes because it's a really great experience. It's, it was really fun uh, learning English Lit and uh, every every sub you know I mean like every text or every poem or every novel that we we've learned um it really has a meaning to it like like um a deep connection between the flowers for Elginor or the clay marble and yeah personally you should go for it thank you thanks so much um so maybe just before we go uh Mm -hmm. would you like to share with us a little bit about what you've been doing since your SPM and what maybe what you hope to do after this I've been thinking about taking uh taking up business administration because I I was a science student and I've explored English lit, I've explored um art sessions. I've I've been I've been going to art classes these few months and I don't think it's really for me because I don't have the creativity for it. Mm-hmm. But uh I want I'm one thing I'm I think I think that I want to explore more about business administration. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, um, thank you so much for spending this time with us today. Uh, and I think that wraps up our interview for today. Thank you so much. Thank you. So fun.